So, what better place to do some heavy thinking and mindless rambling about what am I going to do with the Honda Monkey than on a beautiful open country road here in I think the closest town is Staruka, Pennsylvania, close to Susquehanna. So we're gonna cruise here, enjoy the monkey, try to beat the weather that's coming in, and try to decide what my next bike is gonna be. Because if anything, this whole trip has just kind of taught me that I'm doing the uh, Doing crazy things, not crazy, but doing things on motorcycles that are probably the wrong motorcycles to be doing those things on. Especially the Monkey. The Trail 125 can do all this stuff, and it's a pretty impressive little bike, but it's just, it's not the most fun thing to go through some of these dual sport roads with. It's okay. I give it a lot of credit. It needs a lot of credit. It's got a lot of credit to that, that trail. Well, Village of Melrose, okay, so. Melrose, Pennsylvania. If you want to ride these beautiful roads. So basically I'm putting the monkey back where it really belongs. On a country back road with a speed limit, which I'm not really aware of, but I'm going 40 miles an hour. That's kind of where the monkey is comfortable. I could squeeze a little bit more out of it. Going 35. 35 is a good limit. Going 54. So, this is where the monkey wants to live. Fun fact last year I took this road before a storm and I got rained out bad and I hid in this carport right here next to those cars. The people didn't even know I was there. That's what's cool about the trail is that the exhaust, the stock exhaust is so silent on it, you can creep around, so. This monkey really does enjoy the open road. By open road, I don't mean an interstate. I mean a country back road or a neighborhood road or road with not a lot of traffic. I'm uh, deathly afraid of traffic on motorcycles, so I'll probably never find myself on anything that's a road bike. And that's where, that's the point I'm getting to, is that well, what am I going to do with my motorcycle choices coming up? I know I can't keep the Honda Monkey and just use it for off-road duty because this trip has proved for me that it's just not an off-road bike. I knew it wasn't, but I just kind of was trying to make it an off-road bike and it's just not. So that doesn't bother me because there are plenty of bikes out there that are off-road bikes that can do this as well. So if you're primarily off-road, this is... Um, not the bike you want to choose. So what is the bike I want to choose? So that's where I want to get y'all's opinion. Uh, the two bikes that I'm eyeing up are the Honda CRF 300L and on a little bit more of a, could I potentially be taking it to a track for vintage racing? The uh, Honda CRF 450L, which is more like the Honda CRF 450RX off-road bike more more off-road racer than it is dual sporter so that's another one that's on my radar uh, there's a I love Husqvarna's from Renan ZE5 so the Husqvarna is another uh, one I'm looking at so let me know what you guys think but this is a uh, pretty boring staring into the back of this Ford Ranger so I'm gonna cut it over to a uh, uh, time lapse here and we'll get to a road. It's a little bit more uh, Actually, it's pretty beautiful I don't want to cut it off just yet. Nice little rock line road with some curves here Reminds me of the Blue Ridge Parkway With the tail of the dragon. This bike would be a lot of fun on the tail of the dragon 
maybe that's the next adventure that I'll take it on. You know, stay off the roads. Go to the uh, tail of the dragon. All right. Well, we don't need to cut it off because the forward ranger is not here anymore. So now you can stare at beautiful open roads up ahead of you again. So I'm, I'm leaning more towards the track. It's not, I don't know, it's track capable, but I don't think I'll be racing motocross on a modern bike too much. So I'm not looking for a, a racer. It's easy to find a racer. Uh, but I'm really just looking for something that is primarily off-road minded that has a license plate on it. My uh, Holy Grail bike is actually the Honda XR400R. That's not a bike that's street legal. That would be perfect for all, all the stuff that I want to do and track capable. So I still might might always be looking for one of those. But I, I might want to dabble in some hair scramble races back in Florida, some Enduros. There's a, uh, a big quarry uh, sort of dual sport rally up here that I just learned about last night in August that I might want to check out. And I don't really have a bike to do any of that stuff with. With all the bikes I have, the only one I have that's capable is my 79 RM250. So that's a vintage motocross racer and not really a trail bike. So basically I need a, a bike that'll pound the trails, can hit the roads if I want legally, and also uh, double as a maybe a backup bike if my RM250 takes a dump on a vintage weekend, which it very well could and it has. So well, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this has been something that's been weighing on my mind all week. I want to see what you guys think about that.